Hey everyone, tonight we're out here searching for some baby birds. And here they are in their nest, barn swallows. Every single year they build a nest on top of the security light and I usually let them. Never again, every single year, eventually, myself walking in the garage scares them away and the mother goes after attacking and... I don't know if they're old enough to be on their own, but they're probably within a few days of being fledglings. Now, if they were to just be out here on a cold night, they'd probably freeze to death. So tonight they'll go in the house and maybe tomorrow they'll be able to fly away or something. Because the mother I don't think is going to come back at this point and it's too cold to leave them out here alone. So from now on, I will never allow them to build on the security light again. It's just above the garage door. Every year, they have two sets of babies, and every single time, I eventually scare them out of the nest. Usually, they're old enough where they can actually fly, but these ones are quite small. So tonight, I am going to be putting up some shelves on the back of the building underneath the big overhang. And maybe they'll build their nest there next time. You know, it happens every single year, and it's sad. Every year, a couple of days before this happens, you see the babies. They're able to stand up, and they're sitting on the edge of the nest. Then suddenly, you just scare them away, and the mother starts swarming around, making clicking sounds, trying to scare you away. Then the mother never comes back. Today, I picked up one of the babies, put it up in the nest, found the second baby, picked it up, put it in the nest. Both of them flew away again. And now we found all three of them. We're going to bring them in the house for the night and we'll put them back outside tomorrow. But in cases like this, it's always sad usually. They stay outside. It's a pretty cold night in the 40s. They'll freeze to death without the warmth of the mother. I don't think there's much, much of a chance here. It happens all the time. So we'll never let them build on the security lights near the doors again so we don't scare them. Now I have these things here, scrap from a project from below they look okay but i'm gonna screw these up on the back of the house and hopefully they'll build nests they're a pretty communal bird they might even put a few on each of these but these i have a over a two foot overhang on the house i'm gonna put these like a foot underneath it they love shady spots that don't get rain so hopefully they'll build their nest on top of these things later in the year because they always do a second batch but I will not let them put a nest there again. And I'm going to take someone's advice in the comments. If I see a nest becoming developed again, I am just going to go ahead and put a, a rag full of ammonia over there to keep them away from the security light. And hopefully they find these right around the building. Thanks for watching, everyone. So I put some abandoned nests right here on this ledge on the back of my barn. You see, I have like this two foot overhang and I'm hoping these abandoned nests will get the message to start using this across to the birds. Yep. I'm hoping they start using these little shelves I put here right in the back of the barn. Now they won't be near the house and they won't be near the security light on the other side of the building either. All right, I'm gonna try to let them sleep. I have them in here right now with some water and food i don't know what to give them but i used to give dog food to baby birds when i'd find them as a little kid all we have is cat food they got their nest in here and they're in the warm house better than being outside where it's 40 degrees tonight in here it'll be almost 70. hopefully they survive the night that's the biggest thing if they survive the night then they'll probably live Maybe I'll hold on to them for the next week until they're big enough to just fly away outside. Or tomorrow I'll research who might possibly take them. But now they're in a nice strong cage. Cat won't be able to get to them. And we're just going to cover them up for the night and hope for the best. It's about all I can do at this moment. Just leave them here on the table. All right, everyone, it's morning and we're gonna try to bring them back outside. And if the mother's still in the area, we'll leave the cage open around. We gotta see, hopefully the mother's still around in the area and could 
guide these fledglings around because they're getting frisky and they're starting to fly pretty well now. The mother's still outside looking for them. So we're gonna leave this open and they can all go back to her. They'll, they should hear the mother's calls. That's the mother you're hearing. So we'll just leave them be. A few of them ate in the house some of that dog food with tweezers. Is this guy okay? You okay? Oh, good. Yeah. The mother bird's swarming around my head making clicking sounds. All you guys, go, 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 go. They're flying. And the mother's going around. She'll take care of them. Great, we don't have to bring them to a re rehabilitation place. And they get to stay around here. Awesome. Glad we were able to help them survive that really cold night.